So, I mean, we're talking about nutrition, folks. I mean, we're the bees, although they they know what they're doing, they know how to forage and they know how to do this. Are their environment, their climate, the differences each year can make such a difference of what our interaction needs to be, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I mean, year to year and even your area. I mean, you can have, uh, you know, an apiary two miles, three miles away from another apiary and they're entirely different, you know? Um, yeah. You really got to pay attention to what are they bringing in and mm -hmm. what are the bees telling you they need? Are you seeing shake out when you shake a frame and nectar's coming out? Okay, you may not need to feed those, but a mile, three miles down the road at your next yard, if you happen to have a few, mm -hmm. uh, you may not be seeing that. So you'd need to feed. Um, at the same time, when I do mite treatments, no matter the size of your operation, if you have five hives, 50 hives, 5,000, 50,000, it's all one box. So yeah. treat all of them for the mites. And that's right. It is all one box. Right. Uh, that, that's another article I wrote. I hate to tell you, but this, this is what I said in the article. You have mites. <laughs> yes. 100%. <laughs> you have mites. And, and, you know, nutrition, good nutrition. There's no point in, in, a suffering across the board suffering we know our bees have mites and we have a responsibility to do something whatever that is for you we we I, I touch on that a little bit and we will again in a minute but um if you keep healthy bees nutrition wise then you're going to have a much better outcome with mites and so forth and other pests and viruses to be real um so keeping good healthy healthy bees um uh, is, is huge. And knowing your area, like you said, and you were talking about bee yards, sometimes in the same yard, I've got one hive does great, one right next to it. It's like, where are you going? Right, right. <laughs> this one's doing fine. Follow your neighbor. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, sometimes though, if you find, uh, especially during a nectar flow, but if you find one's really struggling and the other one's really booming, just switch their positions during right. a nectar flow and the forager force will be caught by the weaker hive and you can bolster it up. I've said that a time or two, I've done it a thousand times. Um, right. So that's a nugget for everybody to, um, if you if you have one that's not thriving, not doing well in one right beside it is, or even, you know, down the road, switch it. Just mm -hmm. give it, give it whatever that one had. And not most always the one that you, when you replace it with the one that wasn't doing well, that one does fine. It's just, it's, I don't know. That one didn't want to be in that spot in the earth. What can I say? 